part three. I'd replaced the majority of my record collection that I DJed with digitally. This gave me a total rebirth in my love for the craft of DJing, as it enabled unparalleled levels of creativity for DJs to become even more like musicians, especially when incorporating turntablism. And although I never stopped using my 1210s at home, I rarely ever took the Serato control vinyl off them. After a few years of this, I realised the vast majority of my vinyl collection was never going to be touched again. I gradually found myself spending more and more time in the studio making records, or being booked to produce and direct videos. Realising I was literally paying rent for all this vinyl just to sit there and do nothing except stir my nostalgia, I decided that if it wasn't being used as a tool for my business, or boosting my creativity anymore, that it was time to get rid of it. As most vinyl is worth nothing unless it's a rare first edition, I checked through and noted down any tracks I hadn't got around to replacing digitally, and removed any records that were difficult to buy again digitally, or just held a special place in my heart. These included classics like Moving Shadow White Labels, Square Pusher's first album Feed Me Weird Things, and Tim Dog's controversial classic Up Compton. I then took all the rest and sold them as a job lot for £600. Vastly less than I'd paid for them all, but it was one of the most cathartic things I've ever done. I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders and I never looked back. Moving to the current day, I admit that I still use my 1210s and control vinyl for the ergonomics when scratching. But I see vinyl sales increasing again and continually hear the older generation claiming the virtues of the medium. In reality, vinyl is 12-bit quality, which is considerably worse than lossless digital formats, 16-bit CDs or 320k MP3. If you ever get the chance to play the same piece of music on a large club system on vinyl and then in a digital format, you will see a noticeable difference in their clarity, energy, impact and loudness. I have friends who grew up with cassette tapes and still prefer the bad quality sound from them to the best quality version of the music they learned to love, as that's how it should sound to them in their mind's eye. This is purely preference and taste, and has little to nothing to do with the objective sound quality of the medium itself. It's just what you learn to love. You could simply digitise these tapes and listen to them infinitely in digital format, and they would sound exactly the same forevermore. One of the major bonuses of digital over analogue. This precise discussion arose with some sound men at the Brixton Academy during one of Beatnik's performances there. The main crux of their argument was the conjecture that an analogue wave is preferable to human hearing as digital sound is broken up into packets rather than one continuous wave. I couldn't help pointing out that the analogue signal they seemed to so highly praise would ultimately be run through their digital mixing desk and thus render the whole idea redundant. I know people who love the look of old VHS video, but that in no way means it's objectively better than high definition modern digital video. Some people love the look of film, but over time digital is superseding it and has pretty much replaced it entirely now. Because you feel fondness for something, that is in no way the same as it being superior. I can definitely understand the nostalgic approach to vinyl and the emotional attachment the generation that grew up with it has to the medium. But if I suggested bringing back the technology that the generation prior to them had said similarly about, like 8-tracks, gramophones or even steam engines, I think everyone would agree to go with the objectively improved technology if nostalgia is removed from the equation. Ultimately, for my work and art, music is a tool. It exists to inspire creativity in whatever medium or form is best to exploit and manipulate it and I will use the most convenient and best tool for the job. And that definitely isn't vinyl any longer. What do you think about vinyl? Do you agree with me? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe to Beatnik TV.